trash, trash. We are here to save the girls. As you remember last time, we finally found Quill after fucking years of searching. Do we have any dates today? No. Oh, shit. We skipped that on Cassie and Eli's. Sorry. Uh, we'll go to the arcade. We, should, we, we need to build up Mio now. Dropping another arcade for a quick search of the majority of the establishments confirmed Mio is nowhere to be seen. Shit. You assume she's either on break, or maybe she called in sick. Either way, you're a little disappointed. You do, however, over your two people talking about her as you're searching. You decide to listen to what they're saying. It's a guy and a girl playing separate arcades, but making snarky comments back and forth. <laughs> you're ridiculous. Mio isn't into chicks. And even if she was, there's no way she goes for a stunted little troll like you. You have no chance. What? Uh, fuck you. The guy's glowering. Glowering? Glowering? I'm sorry, I can't English. I had the girl, but the girl maintains a bored expression as she plays. There is nothing so beta as a guy who uses expressions like into chicks and no chance. Never mind, she just used the term beta, which makes me think you both are fucking awful. You're a pathetic specimen, and Mia was top tier. Girls got options. Me, fuck you. And I know for sure she swings both ways. She always treats me extra nice when I wear this one little skirt she likes. Okay, she just likes the skirt. Just because Mio is nicer to you when you have your ass out doesn't mean she's into you. Fair point. She's nice to everyone. You're not special. I've only ever seen her talk to me, so... That goes both ways, though, doesn't it? You are the least special person I've ever met. Oh my god. Met. So, maybe you're a little right about that. You people both suck. Screw you. The two continue to bicker with neither of them backing down. That's when you notice that they also appear to be competing, the two games are linked, and you can see they're locked in a competitive round of Bust the Glove. You also notice that the power cables for the cabinets are hidden from their view. As much as I hate them both, we're gonna leave them alone. If you stand out to risk in between the two of them, you watch them for a short while, and eventually the girl appears to emerge the winner. Oh, crap. Oh, son of a bitch! You two are gonna fuck. Hey, up. Yeah, yeah. The guy hands the girl a large wad of bills. The girl pockets it and leaves, but not before the guy flips her the bird without her looking. After a short while longer, you have the feeling that Mio isn't around, so you decide to head out and leave the arcade. I get nothing from that experience. That's great. Pizzeria? Four, four. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Let's get to the pizzeria. Luigi's Pizza Group, and other than your personal enthusiasm for all things pizza, sure enough, the entire block around the restaurant smells like pizza, and things seem just much nicer. The world's bright, the birds are singing. A couple of sharing pizza and salute you with their slices. A strange man uh, eating calzone waves. The smells of baking dough and cheese with your determination. You're not even hungry, but somehow just the presence of pizza has steadied your heart and focused your mind. You leave in drenched inside the restaurant. Luigi sheds a single tear of pride and satisfaction. Yeah. Fuck, we really had no Oh my god. Quick, Peach or Shamus? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Peach in the streets or Shamus in the streets? Yeah, baby! <laughs> Just Sam, I'm gonna give him Samus. Samus is pretty, pretty dope. I like Samus, I love Metroid. Metroid's good. Hey, I'm back in town, I'll message you when I'm not delirious with the provision long trip. Anyway, we should hang out next week, I'll bug you soon later. Can I not see, like, when the days... Okay, whatever. Hell. Hey, sorry to bother you, but I have a burning question and no one I'm around to ask, okay? If it's called a top hat, does that mean there's a bottom hat, too? I mean, maybe underneath... Holy fuck, she's right. One second, uh, they're probably just talking about the top of my head, but what, then... But there should be a bottom hat. You're fucking right. What's your opinion about you like cats or a dog person? Oh, wait, I just remembered. I don't care. <laughs> Just joking, jeez, don't be so sad. I didn't even reply with anything. Yeah, I'm causing trouble and I'll think it'd be more fun with you here. Maybe next time I'll invite you. Yeah, maybe. Damn. That's all, ciao. Bitch warning, I'm a, I'm a mix. I don't care. I love them both. I definitely don't have a preference one or the other. We'll go to the cafe just because I haven't gone there yet today. 
So I left it in my car for more than a month before I noticed the smell. I put you in the outro of my video. It's a subscribe for Dimitri because who wouldn't do that? Dimitri! That was my car. And now is not the time. We have a customer. Yeah. Hola, aloha, and hello. Welcome to the Clean Bean Coffee House. I salute you, Lotus. What yes. can I get for you today? Just a large coffee, please. Here you are. Have a great day. Thank you. Let's go downtown then. Let's see what's going on downtown. What the fuck? While oh, cruising through town, you decide to take a detour through the rough part of downtown. As you walk through an alleyway, you see two women standing and laughing together. You notice right away that they appear to be extremely high on something. So, like it cost you a thousand dollars too? You're not being inconspicuous at all, lady. Yep. And what did you get for it? I mean, you're looking at it. Yeah, that's what happened to me too. Well... It was totally fucking worth it. Was it? Right? As you get closer, one of them spots you. Hey, sweetheart. Where are you going this time of night? Just heading home, actually. Alice! How dare you start flirting with strangers when I'm right here? Are you two dating some? Kelly, I didn't want them to get away. In case, you know, you wanted to share them. I'm good. Oh, right, right. <laughs> okay, I'm good, go ladies. Ahead. I don't do I don't do this type of shit. I'm good. So, what are you up to tonight? I think the marriage is. What are you two up to? You ladies need to lift home. It's a bit of a rough neighborhood. What are you two up to? Just a little Molly. <laughs> Nothing too serious. Just, just some marijuana. The thing is, the club is closed due to an incident, so but you can't just we're do. hoping to find some fun elsewhere. Sorry, I just recorded a Hoonie Pop video for this. So, just a quick question before we pass each other in the night, stranger. Yeah. Want to get high and have a threesome? No. I was going to be a little more poetic than that, but. Even if it were more poetic, I was going to politely decline you. Thinking in the offer for a moment, you confirm that they are indeed very high, and you're not much sincere if they're sincere. You can at least have fun, be safe. Aww, they're no fun. They're definitely fun, Callie. I think they're just looking for someone else. Thank you, Alice. Uh, oh well, let's go. I really want my nipples sucked tonight. Lead the way. The two girls depart downtown. Depart down the street, giggling and laughing till they disappear around the corner. Continue on, not entirely certain if you missed out or dodged the bullet. Oh, I dodged the bullet. You cannot feel a twinge of regret, however. They really did kick your side for a moment. No, it fucking didn't. Good for your car and leave. That didn't do anything for me. Uh, should we? Should we? Should we job. Actually, we need to upgrade the boss. Plus level 15, actually. Just give me money. In the morning. Oh wait, that's right. Cool, still. New week, uh, restrict some determination, you got this. Now we'll, we'll upgrade tech savvy. I have a feeling Mio is gonna be needing it. Oh, shoot the mountain. Hey, it's Hero, how's it going? It's going good. So look, I'm hitting the mountain, going dragon, it's going fighting terrible. If you wanna join me, just meet me at the base, I'll be there in 20 minutes, no pressure though. If you don't see it, I'm pounding paving by myself. Hope, hope to see ya. I have nothing else going on, literally, I can't go anywhere else. So let's just go to the cafe, get a coffee, and we'll go there. Oh, wow. Okay, it's just one spider, Lotus. You can do this. You can do this. Oh, a customer. Hola. Hello. Hola. Hello. 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 Welcome God. to the Queen Bean Coffee House. She has determination. What can I get for you today? Respect that. Give me a large copy. Here you are. Have you a great that, day. You need me to get that spider for you, too? No? Okay. Let's just go. Meet up with Hero. It's very early in the morning when you reach the beginning the trailhead at the base of Rose Mountain. Not surprisingly, Hero is there, and she's the only one there waiting for you. She rushes over to you as you climb out of your car, swooping in with a truly epic double hand high five. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god! You made it! Yeah! Yeah! You absolute unit! I can say without hesitation that you have impressed. Yeah! In other words, thanks so much for joining me on my jog. My pleasure. I'm... This is Dream White Wise, the Sunfield Lone Sky. If I'm the girl you're dreaming about at night, you've got some problems in your life you need to sort out. Damn, a bit rude on yourself. There, there, you'll be okay. The morning sun can't hurt you. It's your friend. Also, by the way, why were you quiet that last line? All right, let's check if we've got everything. Water, check. Good running shoes, 
Check. Actually, on a pair of running shoes. They're the shoes I use every day. The will and drive to absolutely annihilate this mountain. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But in all seriousness, are you ready? Do you want to go halfway and see how we feel? It's dumb to push yourself if you don't hit these sorts of cardio very often. I eat cardio for. I have. I, I think I said this in the last one. I have cardio problems with my heart. It doesn't really like cardio. Sadly, it like. It, I almost had fucking. I had really bad breathing issues um, a while ago when I was in middle school, sixth grade. I fucking had to use an inhaler. I, I'm not. I don't think I have asthma, but uh, let's just hit the road. Yeah, we'll do that. One. Fantastic! All right, let's get our burn on. Let's get our burn on. Woo! You and Iero spend the morning jogging, spending the better part of an hour chatting and focused on when the road climbs aggressively. It is not a good run. Uh, it is not a good run. You are pooped on by a bird, and several sport utility vehicles pass by with horns blaring. Iero, however, is an utter ecstasy for the whole jog. Sorry. By the time you reach the top of the mountain, you both are sweaty, exhausted, and sore. But Iro's smile says it all. Oh. My god. I think I broke my record. The nun <laughs> barely broke sweat. Caroline's back lands her hands gives you the most suspicious eyes she can. But after a moment, she, pur she purses her lips and nods approvingly. All right. I admit. I understand yeah. a little bit. But don't get cocky, or I'll show you what it really means to be competitive. The face doesn't match the pose. All right. Let's hit the road back down. Way easier that way. I'll be splitting off the present road. But just in case I'm too winded to do so properly. Thanks for coming out. It really means a lot to me. What are friends for? Exactly. All right, let's go. Let's fucking go, baby. The rest of the jog is mostly quiet, but your smile doesn't fade for the entire trip back. July 8th in the afternoon. Holy shit. Okay, meow. How's it going? Doing good? Feeling good? Just wanted to let you know that I need you to show up work early today due to car troubles and such. Anyway, it'll be slow this afternoon, so I could use a compass of course shenanigans. Drop by if you're free, it'll be fun. Oops, see there. And then what does Hero want? Look alive, Hero's blown up your phone. Damn it, I gotta look. I thought I looked that. God, that was such a dumb joke. Just take this for you. Do you maybe want to grab a coffee tomorrow or after morning? Don't worry, I won't make you race me there or anything. I'm just actually super sore, so it's a good time to hang out. you interested? Um, just making sure I don't have anything for tomorrow morning. Nope. Uh, for sure. Not destroy my body at the same time. I had a feeling you'd be down for some lower impact. Bam. Alright, I'll see you there. It'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. Cheers. Cheers to that. Um, so right now, I think is when we're supposed to go to the arcade to meet up with Mio. Looking at Turkey, you spot Mio right away at the prize counter. She's looking a little bored as a little kid is trying to pick a prize. I don't know, kid. The metamorph for temporary tattoos seem a lot cooler to me than the sticky hand. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna stick the thing in your sister's hair, and then what? It's going into the garbage. Meanwhile, I'm putting that snake tattoo on my arm and going out and impressing the girl. Just okay, she's, she's having fun with this. Oh! Mio hops to the counter and rushes over to you when she spots you. She left out a little squeal of joy. She gives you a hug. Eee! You made it! I'm so glad you came. Yeah, we've been talking in a bit. I was actually killing time behind the counter. My shift hasn't even started yet. Damn, bro. Are you good? Do you want to hang out? Let's play. I'm all yours. Yay! That's exactly what I was hoping you would say. All right, so the climb wall and the spin cycle aren't open yet. So we can't do those. Okay. <laughs> climb wall. Yeah, right. I climb leaderboards. Who do I look like? Spider Gwen? That was such a slight mispronunciation of Gwen. Alright, note to self. Look into Spider Gwen cosplay. Hmm. Focus right, one. right. Uh, focus. Focus. Yeah, not Gwen. Gwen now. Cosplay later. Cos cosplay later. Okay, I've done everything here a hundred times, so it's your choice. Do you want to mini golf or just hit the bar for some rather concerning day drinking? Oh, that's fucked up. Physical exercise there by putting you at this minute. Very true, but don't underestimate me. I'm scrappy. Scrap. Wait here, I'll get us free clubs and balls. <laughs> I said balls. Okay, going. Yeah. You and Mio have said mini golf course is a cheesy tourist trap vibe, but Mio seems to dig it. 
As you line up for your first shot, Mio tries to distract you by pulling her top off. <laughs> Excuse me? Do you have any sunblock? I don't want these girls getting too much sun. You're the second person now in this game to call them girls, and that's kind of concerning. Waiting several moments does nothing to dissuade her. However, the shot still seems easy enough. Play to fucking win. 45 minutes of windmills, water drafts, and completely bullshit ramps. You managed to pull off the win on the last hole, beating Mio's score by a measly two strokes No! My mighty empire is fallen! I'm no longer the queen of balls! <laughs> uh, I'm funny. You know it. It's okay to admit the truth. I hate that I laughed at that. Well, it's about time I start my shift. Thanks so much for dropping in and killing some time with me. Yeah, how long did you need to get here that early? Jesus Christ. Just since I took to get... Oh, thank you. Let's do this again sometime. Hell yeah. See ya. Oh, and this is for you. In case you're ever out trying to impress the ladies. So the kid took the stick again. Mia blows a kiss, you walk out to your car and hit the road. Evening of July 8th. Shit, we got a few things. Hey, Cassie. Hey, Sweet Cheeks, how are you doing today? Doing fine. What about you? Hey, you know the girlfriend... That a girlfriend and I are heading out to the bar right now. You know one of the arcade... Two goofballs and second three pretzels is your chance. Drop in if you're not drive by if you're not busy. Ciao. Uh if I make a call. I wish I could make your phone make the call from the battle star. Anyway, it's me Mio. I want to invite you to come hang out, but this time outside. I'm meeting some friends at the beach, it'll be cool and hot in both of these things. Both of those things. In other words, I need you to come to the beach, it'll be fun. Say free tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow afternoon. I'm there. I can make tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, bring your swimsuit snack and your phone. Trust me, bring your phone. See you there. Okay, so tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow morning. We can go to the arcade now. Mio's not gonna be there, but Cassie's gonna be there. We haven't seen Cassie in a while either. When you reach the rated A arcade, you can inside to see if Mio's working behind the car before you neither. Luckily, it seems like she's not around, and right away you spot Cassie. Thank God. Talking with another girl. Make your way over, keeping a sharp eye out for me or anyone else who might recognize you. So, on a scale of one Fuck. to ten, just how badly did you strike out? Alice, goddammit. Not bad at all. Things didn't work out. But I gotta tell you, Alice, there's just something about this one that gets under my skin. Like, in a good way. Talking about me? One of those, I hope we can get to the sex part soon situations. Here, times five. I'm not sure what it is. I can't keep them out of my head. Oh, balls! Oh my gosh! Well, speak of the devil and she'll give you a reach around. Fuck, what's my suave at? He will never interrupt no, anything. No, not at all! We were just talking about, you know, girl talk. Girl talk? Please join us. I have questions. Were you too- Oh, so many questions. Were you too high to recognize me before? This is Alice. She's my- I know. My friend, I guess? Alice, Damn. where are you? I'm more like the fun police, but in reverse. I follow Cassie around and make sure she has a good time. Speaking of which, you both need a drink. Nah, I'm good. This round. Be right back. I don't- Nah, I'm good. Mm -mm. Hey, thanks for coming out. Oh, she's leaving. Me and Alice can tie one on just fine, but the more the merrier, you know? Just either hang out with two hot chicks or stay home with my kitty. No. Well, glad to hear I rank above your other prospects. I promise I'm a lot more fun to pet. I haven't really tried petting Quill, so I guess I wouldn't really know. Mm, not my smoothest line, but I'll stick to it. I'm owning it. Pet me, not kitties. Sorry, cool. I'm back. Here you are. I hope you like it sweet and creamy because that's how I roll. Well, damn. Ugh, Alice, this is the kind of crap that gets you hung over. It's also the kind of crap that gets you laid. So I'm afraid I don't see the issue. Actually, the issue. I'm not doing anything. Let's have a little toast, shall we? Raise your glasses. Do it. No. Here's to sex. Nope. My favorite thing ever. I can tell you for sure isn't mine being an asexual person. 
That's a dumb toast. Very dumb toast. Well, show me how it's done, kitten. Damn. I always toast with friends, present and absent. Fair. Oh, that is nice. Way better than sex. Though, not as nice as sex. Man, you're horny all the time. Okay, your turn. Make a toast. <laughs> Isn't that just the truth? I didn't know what else to say. It reminds me of how I lost my virginity. Sorry, what? <laughs> yup. That's good. Drink your drinks, you pervert. Three of you wind up sharing more than a few drinks, and soon as the Alice is more than happy to buy the drinks. It isn't long before you start to feel more than a little dreamy. If you don't slow down, you might get a bit more drunk than you intended to be. Hold my liquor. Usually drink the two ladies under the table. Even slightly more sober than the ladies, the three of you have a wild night. Your body shots now. Cassie kiss several times, the two of them can't keep their hands off you. They hug, hit, and caress through the entire night, and you can't help but get turned on from the constant physical attention. At the end of the night, both Kathy and Alice are completely drunk, and we help the two of them call for separate rideshares since they're going in opposite directions. Alice, I wish I had your legs. Jesus, how horny are you two? Yeah. Darling, unless you're spreading them, don't you be touching no legs. The two of them laugh and play fight as the first car pulls up with a little app, and nothing you arrange for Alice's ride to come first. Alright, kids, I'm off. Thanks so much for coming out and partying with us. Ain't a problem. Cass, Hello. don't be a bitch. Get a lock on this one, or I'm gonna spank you. Cassie, you better not say you're into the shit. Go home. You're you. drunk. Same to you. <laughs> All right. Good night. Night. Once the car's gone, Cassie turns around and wraps her arms around you your waist. So, maybe you wanna fool around tonight? Oh crap! I just remember that. These aren't a, uh, it's not a good time right now. If you don't mind me asking, why? But Rain Check, you look good tonight. All I want right now is to tie you up and show you some tricks I know. Damn, you took a complete 180. Deal. Cassie's right arrives, but then before she lets you go, she pulls you close and kisses you passionately. Damn. There you go. Think of me tonight? See you later, sweet cheek. There you go. As the car pulls away, she blows you a kiss. Your own ride share arrives shortly after, and you head home. Alright, Quill, how's it going? Apparently, we need to up. Suave. Also, I recently figured out. I don't know why I've been calling this Suave. It's pronounced Suave. I'm gonna continue calling it Suave, though. Your fridge makes you starting sound for the most Indian, but those down you decide to ignore it's probably fine. It's Quill. Um, you dreamt you were out of mustard. This is a grave concern for some reason, the feeling passes quickly. Okay then. Uh, upgrade buff so we can get that last job. Okay, we need to head over to the... Oh shit, Cassie. Yeah, hey, sweet, thinking about me? I mean, we were just talking, so yeah. I know, sir, I know you are, no matter what you say. Question, what are you up to tonight? Because according to my calendar, it looks like you're meeting me for coffee. Tonight, queen beans sound good to you. What do you mean by tonight? I not messages. Schedule. Either of these for the eve. Okay, neither of them for the evening? Sounds amazing. Here you go, that's right. I'll see you there. We lay. Ciao. Please tell me that's for the evening. Okay. We're going to Hero. Then. Neo, that rhymed, and then Cassie. When we went to the cafe, you take a few moments to take in the sights. The town is incredibly busy today, and there are tourists everywhere. Despite the presence of several other cafes and coffee shops, you can't, you can see the Queen Bee Coffee House is much busier than the others, because Lotus and Dimitri are such fine people. Walking through the outdoor tables, you spot Euro already sitting at a table, you catch her eye, and she quickly jumps to her feet. Only to grab her side and cringe in the universal sign language of, I'm hurt real bad. She limps over to you and gives you a hug. Hi! Ow! I mean, hey, how much quieter are you? Yep. Careful, I'm one giant bruise today, covered in bruises, with a side of even more bruises. Are you cruising for a bruising? I make them mistake all the time. No, no, no. When I cruise, I don't bruise. My cruise game is on point. Is it? Last night, a bunch of friends and I went cliff diving over at the Clay Banks on North Beach. 
I may I needed a lot have yesterday. jumped over the fence boundary, though, and jumped from a place that's sort of out of bounds. Really? Here's a tip. When you go cliff diving, make sure you hit the water. Well, you just get back on that horse and try again. You can't let gravity win. <laughs> right? True. 100% agree. Though, cliff diving on a horse is probably ill-advised. You're gonna kill that fucking horse. Hola! Aloha! Oh, there's. Hello! Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House. Oh, there's. Sorry, I just grabbed my drink. Can I get anything for you guys today? Give me one second, hold on. Hello? I wonder what it's gonna sound like most anyway. Oh yes. I'm craving that super protein mega shake you make, Lotus. I need Apparently everyone here knows knows Lotus. Oh wonderful! I am so glad you like it. Though, just to warn you, the ingredients basically double in cost since I started serving it. Damn. Okay. No prop. I need my protein. Hit me. <laughs> and for you? Uh, make that too. I'll grab the bill. Oh, great. Sounds I got plenty great. of money. I'll have those for you guys right away. Hey, baby. Oh, uh, thanks. I guess I'll grab the next ones. You heard me slurping. Nah, it's fine. I got this. Though, with the way Lotus makes them, we probably won't need to eat for a few days. Damn. They're stuffed with protein. Holy fuck. <laughs> that Lotus is a beauty, eh? I think she's a bit unlucky with relationships, though. Don't worry, I helped her out in the last one. I saw her at a bar once with a date. Big guy with, like, one of those velvety t-shirts with the wolves on them. Oh yeah, I mean, wear whatever makes you happy. But also, wolves are more of that's a third good. date sort of thing. Yeah, this guy's giving off big, I'm the alpha kind of vibes. Ugh. Anyway, the guy wasn't much of a conversationalist. And he got upset whenever Lotus left his side to use the bathroom or whatever. What the fuck? That's so, fuck. I may have intentionally spilled my beer all yeah. over his wolf shirt when she went to get a drink. You did it. Allegedly. And Allegedly. judging by his reaction, I think I did her a favor. Ooh, good, good job, job then. He called me all kinds of words. Ooh. Words you shouldn't call a classy lady such as myself. Anyway, he got tossed. I bought Lotus nice. a drink, and we danced until they shut the place down. Nice, that sounds cool. Great night. 10 out of 10. Would spill beer on a wolf shirt again. I thought you said allegedly. Here's your order. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Thanks, Lotus. Looks amazing. Wish I could see what it looked like. All right, bottoms up. Here's to protein. Cheers. Did you also get one, Lotus? As Eero chucks your drink, a woman wearing a bow enters the cafe and signals for you to stay quiet as she sneaks up on Eero. Oh my god. Ah! Ah, Kelly! Shit. You scared the bejeebers out of me. You almost made me drop my mega shake. Shush, you're fine. Oh, and so's your company. Were you also <laughs> too high to remember me? Who is this, Eero, babe? Kelly, this is the out-of-towner I was telling you about. The What's one up? that got a face full of boob when we met. It was an accident, I swear. Well, I mean, she did it, so. Hello! How are you? Damn. I'm Calixa, but you can call me Callie, Cal, C, or whatever you remember in 10 minutes. I'm not getting drunk with you. Hero's been telling me all about you. Call you Callie. All kinds of private, sensitive information. <laughs> I'm building up quite the blackmail situation. I haven't talked to you much, Hero. What the fuck did you tell her? Calm yourself, Callie. This is why we can't have normal friends. It's always blackmail this and extortion that. Yeah, blackmail is not a good thing. Okay, okay, okay. I'll behave. Despite how utterly terrible I am at it. You need to talk to her. Uh, one of the brothers you've been telling me about. No, no, no. You're good, sweetie Belle. I just wanted to surprise and embarrass Eero in front of her company. Uh -huh. I was just heading out to go get someone to put something in my mouth. You and Alice are the horniest fuckers I've seen. Cal, don't be weird. She's on her way to the dentist. Oh my god. Gosh, could you have made that any more awkward? I feel like yeah. I could make a joke about scraping my gums or something, but it would be lost on this audience. Anyway, yes. I'll let you two take out the valuable oxygen together. I'm hitting the road. Hero, are we still on for that thing later? What thing? 
Yep, I'll see you there. Don't forget to bring gloves. Okay, and good. wear underwear this time. Jesus Christ. You're, You're more hornier than, than Faye Faye. Faye. Jesus, this is crazy. If, if you get any more hornier, I'll have to say you're hornier than Bao. My true talents go unappreciated. But not wearing underwear? That's, that's your talent? talent? I think you need to do a life check if that's your talent. All right, see you, Cal. Don't mind her. She's a nut, but she's good people. Um, well, goodish people. Goodish. Would you excuse me a sec? I overhydrated on my run here, and that's all the info I think you need. BRB. Go to the bathroom. Your girl gets from the table and disappears into the cafe. Once she's out of your sight, you hear someone from behind. Oh my god. Hey, come here a sec. This is your attempt at being soccer one picture. You're particularly terrible at it. Hey! Don't doubt my stalker game. Or I'll be going through your trash in an hour, Tops. Holy fuck, you can hear me just tapping my cord? Damn. So sorry to bother you, but I just have to ask you something. If it's my penis size, go away. Hero's been telling me all about you, and she's got this little sparkle in her eye. And I'm wondering if you're just BFF material, or if you're actually looking for more. You know, like, wink wink, nudge nudge, kiss kiss, yum yum. Hmm, so you're not as dumb okay. as Okay. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, don't look at me like that. I'm gonna look I'm at you like kidding. that. Kidding! Why'd you separate kidding? Look, I'm on your side here. Hero is crazy dear to me. I can't even begin to describe. She has a front row seat in my heart. She and I used to date way back in the day. Oh, damn. Then we moved in together and only lasted three more months because I'm kind of a mess <laughs> in terms of feebleness. So we transformed into besties and have been super tight well, that, That's ever nice, since. the fact that you're still able to be besties even after dating and breaking up and all that. The reason I'm telling you this is that you're the first person in almost a year that Eero has brought up in conversation so Eero's with my oh, that's cool. sparkle of hers. She's been through some rough times and I want to see her move past it. Aww. Turn up the dial on her happiness and... God, all these guys turn have down the dial on other stuff. This is getting really sad. So, if you're truly in it to win it, I want to help. As long as you're actually an amazing person and a monster in the sack. That's my only one I can I go know, for that's right? actually good. Oh, in terms of like, I want to date her. The right place is that girl. Well, I like the cut of your grass, bub. And I think I'm trying to go with five girls at once. On is it really the way I swing and in real you life? But yourself worthy, I gotta save them all, so. Sidekick you to success. I'll do it if it means to save them. As long as the others know about it, because holy fuck. Okay, I'm Audi. Before she gets Don't ever say bad, Audi again. Suspects that I'm actually just here admiring your dummy thick booty. What? what the fuck do you mean? Take care. I got thick ass thighs. I'll admit that, like... I could probably crush a watermelon between these things. Callie dashes away just as Hero is returning from the bathroom. Eat a lotus. Sorry, there was a line. I was debating whether or not to get a latte. Okay then. Milk and I don't have the best relationship, but... Well, let's just say what I don't tell my PT can't hurt me. Give me the coffee or give me the apps. What's that? Uh, but I know carbs, no sapphats, no everything we put in our bodies needs to be utterly joyless. Amen to that. Amen to brother. They say you are what you eat, so... Let's be naughty from time to time. Damn, that quick. That would. That was quick. Lotus! Can we get two lattes when you get a sec? No sugar. No sugar. Coming right up. Fresh and hot and full of fire. Don't make a sex joke. Perfect. Another image. As I was adding part two to this video, to, to Hush Hush, I saw I missed an image with L. And I don't know how I did. So, I was bugging you earlier about what you've been up to. Anything else to report? Fantastic, I've been a bunch of dates the last couple days. The girls are incredible. That one's suave. Suave. I'm, this is, there are a few words that I feel like just sound better or just make more sense pronounced in a different way. Like, macabre. I'm going to continue to pronounce it macabre, and you cannot change my mind on it. So I'm going to continue to pronounce it suave because it just sounds more, well, suave. Oh, ho, ho. 
Look at Nick's smooth talk here. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, there's quite a few guys and gals I would put into the honey category around here. Unfortunately, a few too many of them know me by reputation. Yeah, but Harry, you look this good and Harry's gonna hate. True. <laughs> yes, yes. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Haters Goof. gonna hate. No, no. For real, though. It's because most people around town, they know my dad. He's oh. been a cop around here for a long oh, time. Oh, that's cool. Everyone knows me and Eli as Chief Saji's kids. Might hear a second secret? He's an absolute hard-ass, and some people still act he's funny he's around just, us. Just, just, like we're going to tell on them or something. Okay. And well, Eli was smoking. I was somehow going to loop this back to how it's hard luring in locals because they're afraid an angry Japanese man is going to sneak up behind them and club them for talking to his daughter. That's a special kind of person. Everything you just said is horrifying. <laughs> Sorry. I should have slapped a trigger warning on that one. The next time I intend to say the phrase elderly Japanese man, <laughs> I'll make sure to warn you. Yeah. Oh. Heads up. Look at this cutie walking by. Oh, no. No. Don't make it so obvious. More smooth. Come on. Uh-oh. Okay, is okay. It? Now look. When you turn to look, you see... Oh, let's see. You see one of the empty tables. Little swoops in right away. Um... Hello. Hola. Aloha. Uh oh hello. El here. Welcome to the Twin Bean Coffee House. Fuck. Michelle, you are looking so bright and shiny today. I swear, you must have Damn, a magic lamp. All the girls know. So I wonder if Quill knows Lotus. Probably not. Oh, if I had a magic lamp, I would more than likely misplace it. And then I would be so worried about the poor genie inside. <laughs> I was taking a damn sip of my drink, pal. I've never been misplaced myself, but I imagine it's a distressing experience. Oh my god, yeah, that'd be horrible. <laughs> Miss A, you always make me smile so much. What can I get for you? The usual today? The usual today? God, I <laughs> I think Lotus might be my favorite. I don't know why, just something about the cheery mood. I like it. Yes, please. Whipping cream, sprinkles, and all. <laughs> if I had to go with one of the original five, I think Mio by far is my favorite, followed by Cassie. Mio, Cassie, El. I know they're all pretty good. I can't really rank them. I can't really rank the last three. El, Iro, and Will. They're all tied for third place. Lotus pushes her head up inside and calls to Dimitri. Coming right up. Dimitri, I need a Santa Claus special for Miss El. Pronto. Pronto. For her, I shall move heaven and earth. How many people in this fucking field are horny as hell? Lotus just stays by all sales and getting chat doesn't look like she's noticed you here, thank That's Al Reed. She's one of the rich kids in town. Her dad owns, like, all the things. Damn, really? She's single, too. What do you think? Think you have a shot with her? Swoop in and show me your moves. I never already met you, sweetheart. If I go win, you'll be my wing man. She's missing my dad, other than I don't know if I should, like, do this. That'd be weird, because I'm trying to get... Fuck it. What? Yeah, for sure! I'll help you make a good impression. Fuck it. Alright, get in there. I'll cover you. Let's go talk to Al. Hello! Hello! Hi, Al. Latte, extra cream with sprinkles and mini cookies! I see why you get along with Bonobo. Yay! Thank you so much. Little cookies make me so happy. Go. Just look how cute they are. They're like teeny tiny cookies for, um... Elves? Psst! This is your chance. Say leprechauns or fairies or something cute. The cookies for... Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on! That sounds a bit scary, doesn't it? Cookie cannibalism? Come on! Like, cookie... Like, not cannibalism, but like... Whatever. You fool. You're oh, double! Doing it. I said cute, not unintentionally horrifying. Oh man, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> no. I just feel like I get 30 oh, minutes in me to report. I just noticed it's you. Has it been you the whole time? No. I was I so shocked by what you said. I didn't realize it came from your face. Bam. Normally, <clears throat> I would love to stay and chat, but I have an appointment I need to dash to. Um, take care. Fuck. <sighs> ah. <sighs> I said, say something cute. I even loaded up leprechauns for you there, and you blew it. I'm not best at the talking, in case you couldn't tell. 
Meh. Oh well. Elle never holds a grudge, oh, as far as I've seen. If you're going to swing and miss, she won't hold a couple strikes against you. Hey, That's don't look at me. I'm oh, the come wrong on. gal to be talking I, to about the oh, virtue of cookies. I look at cookies and I see a 150 calories bop. And an ability to eat all of the cookies. They're bad breakup food. And they want to ruin my glutes. You said that like a robot. I hope the lesson here is... Always listen to Eero. Yeah, yeah maybe I have to, goddamn. Well, this has been fun. I didn't even get to the heart. Oh, there's fuck. There's something I wanted to ask you. As you're surfing. See, there's actually this big once-a-year event coming up soon. And I would love to do it with a partner. Look at these. Uh, we'll do that one. Yes! Come on, one art. One art, one art. Yes! I mean, the thing I'm yes! talking about is not for beginners at all. You could die. But that is absolutely the attitude I want to hear. I'll, I'll die, die, bitch. That, that sounded really fucked up. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I always get so pumped chatting with you. You're really motivational. I've had PTs that aren't nearly as motivating as you. Personal trainers? I'm assuming that's what PT stands for. So every year, there's this big almost hurricane that hits the town. It's actually super scary. Stuff falls over, people get hurt, it's a whole thing. Okay. But it also kicks up the absolutely best monster waves 50 you've ever seen. Holy I'm talking fuck. 50 footers. Perfect conditions, the works. I've been working hard the last couple of years to take them on, and I think I'm ready this year. But I would love to work with a partner on some last minute training, and I'd love to have someone hit the waves with me. Okay. What do you say? Would you be down for something like that? I'm definitely going to try to show you what I can do. Hell yeah, send me up. We'll big river home. Yee! That's great! I'm so excited. Even if we crash and when burn, is it? it'd be fun to see if we've got what it takes. When is it? Eh, I guess you don't really crash and burn on a surfboard. More like crash and... Drown. Mm -hmm. Crash and drown? What? Oh. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I completely lost my train of thought there. The fact that you're so hesitant to say drown... Makes me think something happened. Oh. You ever get deja vu? Oh, Well, I no. get this really ridiculously powerful sense of dread oh, whenever fuck. I get oh, it. Oh, God. Jeez. It feels like I've dreamt all this before. And something bad is about to happen. Is this how... Is this how Eero would have died? That's a normal thing that happens to normal people, right? We're supposed Come to on. save these girls. Is this here. how Eero was supposed to die? Oh, wow. Look at the time. We've been hanging out for an hour and change. Time flies when you're having oh, fun. Oh no, this might be so? the time we're supposed to say. Are we on for next week though? The waves next are going week. to start kicking up, and I need to know I can count on you. On like a bonnet. Yes! Oh, I am so looking forward to this. I'll text you the deets later in the week. Chat with you again soon. Chat with you again soon. Ta-ta for now, Surf Amigo. Surf Amigo. Bye, Lotus! Adios, Ciro. Bye, Lotus! Air leaves with a skip and a limp in her step, cringing and waving at you twice before she carefully crosses the street to where she parked her motorcycle. The latte is cold by now, but the palpable, palatable thought of surfing in excellent condition sends a wave of doubt through you. You've got less than a week to improve your skills. You finish your drink and head to your next destination. Yikes. One secret adds the notes and one new strike pick. Blurring time. Hey, it's. Oh, wait, Quill. Hey, it's just me. Just wanted to let you know I enjoyed our coffee and. and not just the coffee, but good. We can do it again sometime. The next time, I'll try not to be horribly sore and cranky. Take it easy. Hope to see you again soon. Later. You aren't cranky. Well, hey, this is Serena. You're smart. at home. Oh. So I'm sending text to spe speech to text feature. Let's so you know what you're saying. Hey, it's Quill. I have an important question to ask you about the washing machine. If you're not busy, could you come here so I can talk to you? If you're busy, then don't. Okay, bye. I'm busy. Sorry, Quill. Just don't show Hello, it's L. Forgive me if I broke any. I'm making typos. I'm not very good at texting. Same. I just wanted to let you know that my family is giving me permission to see you. I was wondering if you would like to go to in the afternoon at the Queen Bean. Actually, I'm super busy. Wait. Oh, on the 11th. Oh, no, I've got nothing on the 11th, right? Yeah, no, I got nothing on the 11th. We're good. Yeah, I'd love to. That's wonderful. I was going to show you there. Maybe I just fall asleep. See you soon. Um. So we'll get to see Lotus again, so that's fucking dope. But we gotta go to the beach. Sorry. Sorry, Quill. You're gonna have to figure out the washing machine by yourself. Mia, yeah, arrive at the beach, you notice right away that their things are a little different today. She also has a girlfriend with her, so I wonder if it's gonna be. 
Those people are gathering in small groups in the parking lot on the beach, and everyone seems to be looking at their phone. Fucking. You're at the beach. Come on. Enjoy the enjoy the beach. Is here saying Pro and Raid. Oh, they're playing. They're playing a different version of Pokemon Go. So you're hey, 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 over here. You made it. I'm so happy to see you. That's I was cool. worried maybe also, you were too busy to waste time at the beach today. Nah. Are you sure you're good to hang out? We can mm -hmm. reschedule to another day when it's less busy. Uh, here, frankly, I'm here for the company. I'm here for the issue in George basement. Let's reschedule also. I'm a douche. Damn. Here at the fun sun, I'm the gun when I'm the ended. Here at the company, I'm here for the issue in George basement. Fantastic! Because you get a little of both today. I'm basically a basement dweller. And we're by the ocean. Face is covered. The crab. He's back. After stealing Casey's bra. Or bikini. And, um. Looking at who's L covered in sand. This crab's seen it all. Hey, before we start baking our butts in the sun, I just wanted to say, um. Sorry if I came on a little strong last time. I got a bit too tipsy, day. and maybe a bit too handsy, and this is the most awkward apology ever. Yeah, that's fine. Just wanted to ask, we're cool, right? We had a good time? No worries, nothing else to worry about. Your failure is so Oh, wonderful. well, good. That's good. We're doing good <gasps> today, like superheroes in bikinis, or something. I don't think I've ever seen a superhero in a bikini, now. think about it. Hey, look! The oh, ocean! Probably. It's over there! <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> Am I right? Beware of the crap. I'll steal your beginning. Anyway, so I'm not sure if you got the full download on what's going on here today. Like, literally yeah, downloaded. Is it the summer season event? Yes! Oh my god! I love you! Yes! It's the Pradamon event! Do you know what Pradamon is? Oh, Do you, you play have to it? ask me what Pradamon is? Fucking love. Twig Turk. <laughs> I can't Twitter. believe you're already a hardcore Protomon player like me! Well, I'm so happy Pratamon. I could kiss you! Later, it's ready to be done struggling to forget to hold our horse in front of my new apple. That's not a good thing. Great, good Pratamon. plan! Business before pleasure. Got it. I gotta go catch myself a charred lizard. Oh, here comes my friend! Hey, was it? Lotus! Over here! The party's over Lotus. here! Whoop, whoop. Lotus! Follow me with Casey and see Lotus running to meet you. She already has her bikini and her phone in hand. Hi, Mule. Lotus. I see you brought a friend. Hi. Hola. Have you two met before? Hola, aloha, and hello. Oh, yes. No one can resist my coffee. I don't even drink I'll coffee. I my coffee and claws in you. There's no escape. There isn't. It buffs one of my stats. Lotus, where's Bonnie? Or Anon? Bonabel? Who's Anon? I'm sorry, Mule. They both had to cancel. Should I know who Anon is? These birds are flying, not even using their wings. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. Oh no! That means there's only three of us. How are we gonna catch the special event Prodamon? It's you and me. It's our destiny. So the girls begin to laugh and burst into the rest of the commercial jingle for the Prodamon at the same time. When they're finished, they're both laughing and getting their game faces on. We Let's got go. This. We got Let's this. Do it. Let's do this! As the event starts, all of the teams line up for far into the beach. A little surprised to find out there's quite a bit of running and pushing other players. Jesus Christ. That's why we wear the bikinis. Yeah! Many Pradaman players get surprisingly intimidated by pretty ladies in bikinis. Because they're all basement dwellers. Once everyone's lined up and the countdown begins. Three, two, one. Have to prod them all! <laughs> they could use a better catchphrase. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't played Pokemon Go in ages. Woo! Fuck. The entire beach erupts into anarchy, people are running left and right, zig zigzagooning between imaginary obstacles they can only see on their phone. The shifts and falls into, onto me at one point, and in heaps of elbows. Uh, and Lotus! Focus! We're not here to reenact our favorite anime! Damn. I don't know what that means, but uh, I'm trying to get off of you! Moments later, while well, you're trying to capture a kerfuffle, Someone throws sand in your eyes, you manage to rub them clean. When you look up at Packer, you see them in a familiar face. Hero! Oh, hey! What's going on? Fuck. What's with all these. these? Uh, can't say I got a problem. It's a big game I want to play on their Oh, phones. that's the one that makes them wander into traffic. Yeah. Later. I would never have guessed you're into games like this. Is it fun? 
Does it cost a bunch of money? Hey! Only if you're a loser. Oh no. Oh, no. Did you catch that kerfuffle? You're awesome! Oh my gosh, we're actually winning the raid right now! Awkward. You're literally my favorite person in the universe. Undisputed heavyweight champion. Shit, 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 shit. The new excitement, Mio doesn't seem to know you're standing off to the side. Mio gives you a slightly confused look. Introduce me. Oh my Mio. gosh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I was caught up in this silly game we're Our playing. Our market's gonna kiss Mio right now. No problem. No way. I'm Eero. You're the gal that works at the arcade, right? Damn, we already know each other. Yes, that's me. Literally, the gal. <laughs> There's only one gal that works there. The rest are adolescent boys. So many uh, adolescent boys. Wait a minute. I'd like to think I'm more mature than other people my age, but who knows. I'm Mio, by the way. I'm nice playing to meet the, you. Literally, I'm playing two hentai games. Three. On my channel right now. Fuck. Blush is all mine. Believe me. Well, I'll let you two get back to your talkie talk. I just wanted to cheer about how good we're doing. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it up. There's a jiggly boob around here somewhere. If we can catch it, we'll have a solid lead. What do they do to jiggly buff? Yeah, I'm excited. I'll be our beat. As your way runs out, you the back of her neck, so I'm Wow, that must be one of the gals you've been seeing. She is hot. Sweet Mama Jama, are you kidding me? The junk in that trunk should require a license and registration. Damn. Yeah. Anyway, I'm bad at this kind of shit. Surf therapy in. I'll leave it to your game. Have fun. We'll in meet up you, again soon. In you can tell Bye. from this game, and as Yara drives away, there's a moment when she looks back at that her expression looks confused. In a matter of moments, she's disappearing into the ocean, and your life is consumed once more by Pradamon chaos. After almost two hours of running around and pushing children out of the way to catch rare Pradamon, your team has fallen to second place and team turned Oh running. no! Mio! I couldn't catch a duck in a truck! I'm so sorry. I used all 20 of my product placements. <laughs> in case you're wondering, um, I'm. In case you couldn't tell, actually, I am. I was talking about this earlier. Literally, before I started. I'm just gonna say, I'm bad at the whole sex talk thing. I fucking suck at it. Like, I think I can't do it. Anyway, product uh, placements. Oh no, we were so close. Oh, I'm gonna clutch well, this shit. no worries. <clears throat> we gave it our best shot. If just one more person had shown up, we would have been laughing. But it's okay. Maybe we'll catch the mythical Pradamon during the fall fair or something. Thanks for coming out and playing, though, guys. It means a whole bunch to me. Hell yeah. I think now's a good time to go drown our sorrows in ice cream. Let's go. My treat. It's time to pay to win. Credit card attack. You should have sent me a $700 with the game currency anonymously. Whoa, something just happened. Oh what? my god, I've got a hundred ultra placements. What's going on? Is this a glitch? Who cares? You will me win the front one. Catch that duck. Oh my Catch gosh, I can't duck. believe it. I got the duck. We won the raid. Let's go. We did it? Are you serious? <laughs> she, she, she looks so offended. We did it. The music has been laughing to you, hugging you, and leaping around you filled with joy. All around you, there are looks of disgust and jealousy. One child flips you the bird. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy and confused, but mostly happy. Also, my legs hurt, and I've got sand in my bikini. Doesn't sound that pleasant. sounds like a successful day to me. I guess, yeah. Can you believe we won? As a team, nothing is all you may you're the mastermind of the team. Yeah, yeah. Here, here. Oh, guys, don't be silly. We're a team, oh. and we're awesome. Yeah. Three cheers for us! Three cheers! Hip hip! Oh no! I just got a text hip, hip, from oh, the no. He says the cafe is burning down! I'm sorry, what did he oh, do? Oh no! Like, for real? No. That means he's getting lazy and wants my help. But I better go anyway. Damn, you look sick and tired of this man's bullshit. I had so much fun though, guys. Yeah, Can't wait too. for the next one. Sam, that was Me fun. Me too, Lotus. Take care, talk soon! That was fun. Bye! See ya. As you and Mia begin to walk back toward her car, she snuggles up next to you and hooks her arm in yours. Hey, listen. I had a wonderful time. There we go. <laughs> like, a seriously wonderful time. Did you know? I haven't had that much fun in a long time. And okay. I sort of sprung this whole thing on you. So... Yeah? Thanks. Thanks for making it happen. 
You're welcome. Thank you. Again. I mean, oops. <laughs> I sure I probably could unlock the secret there, but... Okay, no. well, I gotta run. I've got a shift starting in 20 minutes, and the arcade frowns on wearing bikinis to work. How do you know that? But before I go, I was hoping maybe you would kiss me? Went for the road. Sure. Oh, shit. Almost three. Yeah, Mio kisses you deeply, opening her mouth and licking the tip of your tongue invitingly. There's indeed sand in your mouth, but it somehow makes everything more real and intense. You feel her breasts brushing into you, her nipples burning. Okay, but it's fabric of her bikini, Jesus Christ. When she's out, she traces her finger between your chin and wings. See you, Tiger. Thanks for playing games with me today. No problem. Mio turns, gets into her car, waves goodbye, and drives away. On your way back to your car, as you're reaching for your keys, you hear someone walking behind you. You turn around and see a woman in a hoodie walking toward you. She seems a bit rough around the edges, but... Hey, yo, you got a light? Uh, okay, no, no. Okay, no sweat. Thanks, it. Holy shit, look out! You turn and try to see a man running up to you with a knife. His face is concealed and he's moving past you. Uh, three, one, three keys and run like hell. <laughs> three keys striking the man in the face. He grunts in surprise pain as one of the keys finds his eye, but he still manages to swing the knife. Luckily, you're more than out of range when he does. The beach is still crowded, and you run toward the nearest crowd of people. Just as you reach them and turn back, you notice both the man and the girl who asked for a light are gone. You return to your car. Your keys are still there on the ground. No one else is nearby. You pick up your keys and leave. Your heart's still racing from the adrenaline surge as you drive away. We're not going to talk about what just happened. Hey, is this your smart? That, uh, I just realized... Da-da! This is Serena, your smart home data assistant. That dot at. Wait, how? What does that mean? Someone's using text speech feature. Hey, here's what they're saying. Hey, it's Bell. I'm inviting you to a tea party tomorrow night. Do you want to come? Sure. The winery? Sure, I've never been there before. Uh, okay, good. You know where to find me because I sleep in your bed. Okay, bye. Hey, how's it going? Just wanted to drop in and DM you. had a great time at the beach. You're funny. I like you. We can do some other stuff. I'm pretty much trying to stare at each other at this point. Anyway, looking forward to your next time. Think about it yet. Uh, I don't actually know what this stands for. Because I'm fucking dumb. Anyway, we didn't look at the, um, images. So we're gonna look at the images now. Oh, hey. We got a lot of heroes. Cervix. Here's the one we got with Mia, and she's just using a fucking vibrator. Um, why am I not surprised? I think it's the first time we've seen anyone just flat out naked. Like, not in a bathtub either. And here's the one we got with Hero. Once again, just flat out naked. Any other ones that I missed somehow? Just making sure there's none that we missed. Oh, is that Mio? This is her second page of images, okay. I click on this, will it go full screen? Okay, I might use that as the thumbnail art, so I'm gonna leave it on this for a little bit. Okay, I think we're good then. Anywho, Cassie. Also at the cafe, man, we're, we're seeing Lotus literally every day, every Every point today. In the morning with Eero, uh, the beach playing Bradamon with Mio, now at the end with Cassie at the cafe. At the cafe, right on time, you don't see Cassie anywhere. You take a seat at one of the tables, and Lotus rushes over to you right away. Hola, aloha, and hello. Hola, hello, hola, and hello. Hello. Always a pleasure to see you. Can I get you anything? I just made some banana bread. Ooh. Would you care for a slice? What she really means is. She took the pre-cooked bricks out of the freezer and put them into the toaster oven. That still counts in my eyes, Dimitri. Dimitri! That's a lie and you know it! Watch yourself, or I'm going to freeze a loaf and throw it at you! You should do it anyway, man. It'll fix his brain. Aha, Lotus. You're such a kidder. I don't think she is, man. Anyway, is there anything you like? Uh, give me the bread. Wonderful! They're free of nuts and 100% vegan friendly. Coming up! Those things don't matter to me, but okay. You know, they say you are what you eat. That's why I only eat vegans. Either you just said something that's extremely creepy in a sexual way, or extremely creepy in a do you kill people kind of way? Dimitri, don't be weird. 
Just then the door swings open and you hear a familiar voice. Hey! Now, who's a girl gotta get frisky with for a decent cup of coffee? <laughs> I, you style me! Let's see if she knows Lotus. Ah, Cassie. My warrior of princess. Of course you know, Dimitri. Come to burn away the darkness with her fiery spirit. Dimitri. Don't you be getting all flirty with me. You put those dreamy lavender eyes away. I'm not falling for it. Stop gunning for my dates every time I'm here, man. Ah, the sweet anguish of my reputation preceding me. Maybe you should stop going around and fucking all down. Lotus, brew me up a cappuccino, would you love? A proper Italian cap. None of this confused microwave bean water everyone's so fond of. Right away, Cassie. I will pour my heart into it. Thanks, Tom. And look who decided to show. I was here before Honestly, you. Fuck wasn't you. wasn't sure if you were gonna stand I up or not. Gotta I... say, I got a vibe last time I might have scared you off. I should be the one saying that to you. Also, we were drinking last time we saw each other, but fear brought me here. Nothing else. Good to hear. There's no courage without fear, and it's an aphrodisiac. Plus, you make her cute when you're a bit afraid. Fuck you. You get this little concern wrinkle on your eyebrow. I could just smooch it. Good, you know. So our last date was fun. I wonder what we're gonna get up to this time. Got any big surprises lined up? Are we gonna beat up another teenager? Some guy just tried to rob me a few hours ago. He tried to kill me. My big plan is conversation involved by holding hands. I've got to spend a spill coffee in your clothes, forcing their removal. Jeez Louise, I hope you're being sarcastic. If you are, you may be even more sarcastic than I am. That's not possible. Because if not, well, I'm just gonna encourage you to relax. Cut it out with this nicey nice stuff. It's weird. I guess you're right. I honestly kind of thought you just said Casey nice that. Here's the banana bread you ordered. And your cappuccino, Miss Cassie. Thank you. Banana bread? Whose bright idea was this? <laughs> oh, uh, it was my, uh, suggestion, Miss Cassie. <laughs> Shit. Uh, right. And Uber bread idea was just for me, give me the sauce. Hey, don't you be waving food in my face without sharing. That's when I get bitey. By the way, Miss Cassie, I just wanted to let you know that we'll be closing in about 15 minutes, so. So, so what? Sounds like something you could have told us in 15 minutes, eh? Did you miss that we're on a date? What books you got on the wall here, huh? Wake up, wake up. Oh, I did not mean to be rude. Oh no, you're fine. Cassie, fuck, come on. Can you believe this girl? Cassie, drink your coke and your grouchy and you can't be. Fuck, how much lava do I need? Alright, Cassie, come on, don't be so touchy. I beg your pardon. Fuck. I'm not the one rushing paying customers out the door. Ca Cassie, Cassie. Whatever. We'll be out of your hair before you shut the place down. Going on evening. Okay. Um. Okay. So sorry. I didn't mean to make it sound like a rush. Seventeen. I just wanted to make sure you had everything you wanted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, thank Normally you, Lotus. Normally when I'm taking a coffee break, my favorite thing to do is for a way to distract myself. I wonder what we could get up to. I'm not fucking in the bathroom. Oh, look at this guy walking in. Oh no. Hey, good evening, Lotus. Am I too late to grab a water and a protein square? Kelby. Kelby! Hoya! Aloha! And hello! You're not too late. You made it with time to spare. Great! I ran double time from the gym. You sound like an anime protagonist, and that's not a good thing. Sounds great! i be right there with your order. You sound exactly how Deku sounds. See that jersey? Regional team. Bunch of local band boys like wearing their jerseys. Watch this. Hey, pal! Nice jersey! I like it when garbage is properly labeled. Oh, got him. Whoa, what? Hey! What the heck is your problem? You didn't need to say that though. No like, problem. Just cut your mouth Especially because my friend here is particularly good at bouncing punks who like threatening uh, ladies. Uh, la uh, Cassie, Cassie. Right? What the hell are you doing? I don't have any violence. Jeez, I was just joking around. You both need to chill. Yikes. 
Well, there are better ways to show team spirit than threatening random people you don't even know. I'm gonna have to agree with this guy, Cassie. Here's your order, Kelby. Thanks, Lotus. See you around. Kelby seems like a pretty chill dude. You didn't need Man, to do that. What the hell was that? I was just joking around. Yeah, I could ever kill that guy. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You made your point. Keep your shirt on before you pull a muscle or something. You both took that way too seriously. I didn't I mean to. Gotta be careful when the world's made of cardboard or whatever. Yeah. Well, no yeah. one can accuse me of being boring. No, you're not. She takes a sip from her drink, closing her eyes for a moment. She sighs with a deep breath of ground, her eyes sparkling as she looks at you again. Fuck, did not mean to click that. Mm, nothing beats a proper chino to warm a girl from the inside. Okay. Nothing beats a proper chino. Hey, I've got an idea. Wanna help me play a little trick on Lotus and Dimitri? Oh, uh, yes, what's the plan? <laughs> nice. That's the spirit I like to hear in an accomplice. Don't tell me which one I had in the bathroom. Here's the first step of the plan. Dimitri and Lotus both have their own keys for locking up when they close. Lotus keeps hers on a lanyard in the back. Way too risky ultra security back there. Dimitri, however, keeps his on top of the fridge behind the counter. Because otherwise he loses it. When Lotus goes into the back, I'll distract Dimitri. You off the counter and grab the key. He won't even miss it, because Lotus always locks up anyway. Once we have the key, we move on to step two, which I'll explain. That was all step one. So, you win. Yeah, all right! Sure. Wanna have this a fun. is gonna be money. You can catch wait for Lotus to come back, Harry. Got a garbage bag. Okay, here we go. Showtime. Get your game face on. Got my game face on, baby. Dimitri, come here a sec. I got a bone to pick with you about my girl, Lily. Ah, Cassie. The sound of your anger makes my heart rage. Dude, shut the fuck up. Makes my forehead sweat. Is this what love feels like? No. Don't you be getting fresh with me, D. Who's the line? I know you told Liliana you'd see her at the Liliana's club last there. week and you didn't show. How are you gonna play my girl like that? Off the fucking counter, man. Hmm. That does not sound like Dimitri. Are you sure you are not mistaking me for one of Liliana's slightly less attractive boyfriends? Oh my god, how many does she have? Are you calling me stupid? Cassie, all the things I would call you are either sexy or scary. Usually both. I guess scary or sexy? Don't change the subject. She's about to kill her. Cassie gets you when it's about time to do the thing. Up the counter, take the key. Take the key and you return All your right, Dimitri. I'm letting you off with the warning this time. This time. I have never been so relieved in my life. Cassie would kill you, man. You said it. You better text my girl and make it up to her. Cassie would kill anyone. I am literally texting her now. Sexily. She what does will blush. What does that even mean? You don't even know. Good to hear. Uh, that's just weird. Cassie rushes back to the table, her eyes sparkling with glee. Did you do it? Did you get the key? Easy peasy. Yes, all right! Okay, I'm gonna you have to start going hard on the stage. Well done, yeah. well done! Thank you. Okay, okay, let's bounce and wait for the store to close. Then we'll move on to phase two. Got it. The two of you get up from your table and make your way outside. Good night, you two! Come again soon! Question, do they have security cameras? You should probably figure that out. You got it, Lotus Baby. I'll be in for my usual tomorrow. How do we how do I never run into these girls? I come here in the morning, like every day. Step out doors warm. Oh, look at these people fight left. Uh, uh when you take Cassie out, she's uh giggles and pushes you toward the alley. Okay, easy peasy. Now we just gotta wait for them to lock up and Yo, Cassie, what's going on? You can see a girl with a tent ass coming from the alley. She's speaking to Cassie, but her eyes are locked on you. Liliana! Okay. Oh my god! Oh, hey, you're you Liliana! The crap out of me! You tried to save me earlier. You, but you did save me earlier, pretty much. What are you doing, but you skulking were around a, in the dark? I don't have a lighter on me. for a bite to eat? You missed the dumpsters back there. <laughs> Who's this? Their name is Nunya. As in Nunya business. Well, we didn't really meet earlier. You just kind of told me, asked me if I had a lighter on me. And then... Guy proceeded to try to kill me. Cassie, you and me, let's chat. Ugh, whatever. Hold on a sec, okay? 
girl talk. Lily and I are just gonna share some gossip and then we'll get back to our evil plan. Are you two like good? Hey for Cassie. Don't listen in. Not down the alleyway doesn't seem to have a heated conversation when Cassie returns to the club. That's all right, anyway. all done. No worries. Sure. I'm sorry about that. Liliana's my manager. Manager? I guess. She's just a sock puppet. You know, someone's always got the hand up for business. It makes you cranky. I can take her. <laughs> wow, my hero. Ready to rumble with some thuggish gal on the street? No. Cute Oh, so close. All right, back to the action. Looks like the coast is clear in the old cafe shop. You ready to cause a little mischief? It'd be weird not to. You have a way with words that makes me sort of excited and nervous at the same time. Okay, I'll take let's it. go. Let's go. Cassie rushes over to the entrance, quickly fumbling with the keys and finding one marked for the front door. She turns the lock with a loud click, but it's just free to go inside. Do you? Going. Quickly now. One sec, I gotta disarm the alarm. You know I got the code once by watching Lotus key it in. She's too short to block anyone's view of the keypad. Poor thing. Damn. The alarm is now off. Okay, Cassie jumps onto the counter, crossing her legs and smiling deviously at you, even in the dark. Her eyes sparkle with mischief. So, you guessed why I brought you here tonight? Have you figured out my evil plan? Robin the place. <laughs> Did you really think I'd break in here to clean it out? What exactly are we gonna steal, genius? The little sweet rolls Lotus made, or the coffee grounds Dimitri saves for some reason? No, I just thought it was a funny joke. No, no, no. Clearly you're not ready for a hard time. So let's keep it to misdemeanors for now. Okay. No schnookums. I brought you here because now I got a little dirt on you. What? Rather, we've got a little dirt oh. on each other. A secret you and I get to keep. Or else we both get in trouble. I mean, what's a little trespassing between friends? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it kind of is. It's certainly the kind of excitement I enjoy. Yeah, I can tell. Think of this more as an initiation. What kind of initiation? Look, I can sort of tell what's going on. I think maybe you're pretty into me. And if I'm being honest, I might be considering being into you too. Did you speak up? I got a lot of crap going on in my life. Oh, sorry. I don't know. I got trust issues. My head, my head perked up at the trust issues because I'm like, same. You got so much to talk about. People suck like to see where this goes. So, initiation. Really, we're like literally criminal. <laughs> now, now, let's not start name calling. There's a presumption of innocence in our legal system, I'll remind you. Last week, I was ready to twist your delicate parts into pretzels. Oh, that hurts just thinking about. And this week, well, things are different. Look, I don't really know how I can make it more clear, so I'll just show you. Okay. How much? Her thumb to the waistband of her pants, slowly pulls them down. How much am I gonna have to blur? She slides off her jacket and tosses your hat, her hat into the ground, free of her ball, ball cap. Her hair tosses into two ponytails, falling over her shoulders like satin. Sat satin? Then she turns her back and pulls off her pants, slowly revealing the soft blush of her pussy. Jesus Christ. I want you to have right here, right where we might get caught. I will say this once more. Kinky. She spreads herself open. Jesus Christ. So, you like getting to know me? <laughs> that would be so funny. Just really pick up the clothes. Jesus Christ. Okay, now we're just gonna do it. Oh shit. Animation. She pulls you to her, pressing herself against your hand, says down between her legs. You're gonna kiss her. She. I'm gonna have to read this to you because this is all gonna be blurred on a Patreon. <laughs> Hashtag God. She humps softly against your hand, cupping her other hand into her bre uh, hand to her breast and squeezing. She gasps as you bite her neck. For YouTube, I'm gonna have to literally read out every part of this because this is all gonna be blurred. Soon she guys from your mouth to her pussy and moans softly as you take her into your mouth. Jesus Christ. 
And only after a few minutes, she covers her mouth and moans through a short, powerful orgasm. Baby. Baby. That didn't sound like screaming. After an hour, the two of you finished together. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Jesus. The two of you quickly get dressed and kiss before she tells you to run off. You can still taste the dis distant flavor of espresso from her lips by the time you make it home. I would say that was more than a B. I mean... Okay, we're gonna go home, then we're gonna end it. But first... The other image we got, the one with her on the counter, was a lot better. Okay, thumbnail art, real quick. There we go. Oh, this one's moving. Again. She's just playing with herself. In case for, for YouTube, she's just playing with herself. Um, we need to upgrade. Oh, we, have, we can upgrade buff, we can do the job. Oh, hell yeah. Before you both become think of all the people suddenly interested in your desire, it's been intoxicating. I'm gonna end it here. Going for an hour 15. Your alarm goes off the time playing with the girls or something, they're not a club. At the club, you're not sure you're groggy. Time to work. Time to work, indeed. With me. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here today. Uh, hold on, let's see what this is saying. Hello, I hope this bunch of fun you well. I just wanted to let you know that I've ended the park to feed the birds. I've ended the season with the time. Come on, go grab a vacation. If you'd like to join me, please do. If not, uh, I'm sure the birds are extra, so don't want to lose out. Take care. So that's an optional one, fun of them. Hey, sugar, hope you're having a peachy day today. I had a little question for you. If you're not too busy, would you like the idea of making your breakfast this week? Uh, I need to shut down the bakery for a couple hours, and I thought I could reach some fun to do in the meantime. Thinking Thursday the 11th, sometime on the weekend. What do you think? It'll involve Christian and buns. In the, in the morning? Breakfast this week. In the morning, July 11th. Yeah, I can do that. Can I say yes, why is yeah? Well, well, if you're hoping to make it to I hate to disappoint you, but it sounds like a day sugar. I'll be right and early, make sure to wake up on an appetite to you then love. Cassie, hey, it's me, Cassie. That was the most fun night of my goddamn life. Thanks for everything. Thinking about you. Heart emoji. Oh, okay, so we're patching things up for Cassie. Everything's going well. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Hush Hush, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.